For me, in one word, I would describe the library as community. Wonder. Resourceful. Support. Compassionate. Accessible. Dynamic. Limitless. A lot of people think of the library as just this warehouse of stuff, you know, but that's not what we are. We're, we're full of people, and without the people, we're nothing. There are libraries that are bigger, and there's libraries that more money. But it's what you do with, with what you have that, yeah, that marks you as either you know, a running new library or a great library. You've been in special collections and see, see the things that we preserve. Those are important things to preserve. There are people's cultures. There's um, you know, history that is just so easy to pretend didn't happen. Um, you know, libraries are very good at sorting out facts. From fiction. I think it's also really important for students to be able to see themselves reflected in the archives and, and see representation from, you know, throughout history, um, no matter who you are as a student. I really focus on uh, reaching out to our community, both on the WSU campus and outside of that. So, you know, that includes um, Indigenous nations that, you know, were on the land of the Nez Perce tribe, but then also other Indigenous nations that WSU has signed the Memoranda of Understanding with. Those uh, partnerships are really important, and I really love supporting um, that work with what I do. There's always someone here to support you, whether it's like a research project that you're doing or you're just lost and looking for the books. There's always someone there who just wants to help you get where you're going. I do um, mending and repair and enclosure making for the archival materials. It is mostly arts and crafts, which I love. <laughs> like these books have been around for sometimes hundreds of years and um, people you know, somebody made the book to begin with, people have read it and used it and made marks in the margins, and people have tried to do their own repairs on the books, um, and it, I really enjoy uh, just being part of the group of people who have worked on this book. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of times people want to fix books to make them pristine so that they will look really nice on a shelf, but here in the archive we repair them so that they can actually be used. It kind of gives a connection to history and also a connection to the future. The library is a fun place. Mm -hmm. There's just no getting around it. There's everything here and uh, the mission to, to collect, describe, preserve, make accessible information is a really powerful one and rewarding one to be part of. Just recently, the Finding Your Roots, the show on PBS, they had a segment with Claire Danes, and it turns out that her grandmother, for whom she's named, attended WSU, and they ordered a copy of her master's thesis that we had in the archives and highlighted a graduation program um, that we had digitized. So that's just a small example of how materials that we have here that are digitized are, are being used and reused in different forms. This is a dream job, you know, because, I, you know, I, I literally get to handle book history every day. And, uh, and I get to talk about that with other people. I well, like the idea of institutions of higher ed serving um, a region, a populace, you know, a community. Uh, not just the students who attend, but, the, but other communities. Another reason I like libraries in general is that you can be anybody and you can come to a library and hopefully you can learn about anything you want to, uh, you know, without judgment. For me, it's a really powerful manifestation of the idea of, you know, democracy, uh, self-improvement. It's very interesting to actually like, look back and like feel the old like clippings of newspapers that were headlines like back in their day. The box that I'm working on is agriculture and land welfare from World War One. So I'm looking at articles from back then. We're trusted to take care of these articles, to treat them with respect while we're um, uploading them. I love working with the students. Um, I feel like they keep me young. I learn so much from every incoming class. One of the most interesting um, things that I found from a student is um, how ranch salad dressing is 
classist. In every class that I teach, I tell them whatever you are interested in, you can research. You just have to figure out how you can research it. And he took it as a challenge. Um, you know, when they come in here, they're, they're scared. Like there's, they have library anxiety. They're terrified of librarians. Um, and I think that's why the interaction is so important is they see I'm just another person and I don't know everything, you know? For me, in one word, I would describe the library as community. I felt like welcomed and felt like I fit in right away, even though I had no connections to this area. So I think that's indicative of the people who work here. The libraries, especially here, the Holland and Terrell libraries are at the heart of campus. We're connected to the Compton Union building and we offer a lot of different resources for students, faculty, and staff. Being involved in efforts to digitize collections that haven't been digitized, whether it's me helping myself or overseeing the students' great work, allows us to increase and expand access, which is part of always the goal and mission of archives. 